All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. Well, guys, it's Christmas time again. And uh, my little elf here looks like she's brought me something. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see what we got here. So, I'll show you one thing that, you know, you may become aware of is, uh, this is our new puppy. <laughs> And she's pretty, pretty bouncy around right now. But anyway, I'm holding her, trying to keep her calm at the moment. At any rate, uh, first thing I wanted to tell you about is uh, these uh, scraping gauges. These were sent from uh, JB from Oz, and I think they're made out of MDF. And they they were unfinished when I got them, but I I shot them with some lacquer. And uh, that should protect that a lot better, you know, if it gets wet or anything, that MDF will, will deteriorate really easy. But anyway, so it's got a one-inch square hole, and that's for checking the points of contact per inch. And let's see, he's got radiuses here to check your scraper. So he's got a 40 millimeter. Uh, let's see, I can't read. 60 millimeter, I think it is. 90 millimeter here and 115 millimeter on, on this side. So that should be pretty handy, especially for uh, this project here. These are the cast iron service plates that I built a pattern for a while back. Oh, before I get ahead of myself, uh, he sent two of them. And uh, one of these is for Randy Richard. So Randy, if you're watching, I gotta get this to you somehow. <laughs> Any anyway, rate, so anyway, these these plates came back, and when they cast them, they were cast actually in this orientation, and so this surface, uh, that that's really not the best way for it. And I wish they would have cast them the other way around. And I've talked to them, and I think they're going to try to do that the next time around. But so I I can see I've got a little tiny pinhole here. And the surface finish on this isn't super great, although that doesn't matter. But you know, if I if I have any defects, I want it to be on the bottom where it's not a working surface. So anyway, I got all three of those, and let's see what's we got in the box. Some weird guy dumped something off of my pickup truck a little while back. Figure I better have a look. over here trying to help <laughs> yeah okay let's not eat the tape <laughs> all right what do you guys think of those that looks pretty good slide this box over here and set these down All right now, we don't need nose prints on everything. All right, oh, well, I better get a little oil. I can see a little surface rust getting ready to take over. These are the surface plates, of course, that Randy and myself have been sort of working on for, gosh, this project may have been going on for a couple of years now. Uh, so anyway, you got, you got the faces here scraped, and that's a really nice finish. Uh, I don't believe he did. Yeah, he hasn't hasn't gotten these faces yet, but milling is good enough. You know, we'll uh, we'll scrape that in. I mean, I suppose you might want to use these in that orientation at some point, but um, I, probably not that often. So here's something I think is kind of neat. You can see this one's got a little teeniest bit of a defect right there. Maybe you can't if I get the light to reflect just right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, 
if you put these here together and kind of get the air out of them, they kind of almost stick together, you know. <laughs> it kind of gets a little bit of a vacuum. It's not it's not quite ringing, that's for sure, but those are those are really nice. So next order of business here, I need to get to somebody with a mill that, that's operational and mill these things up. And then the plan with these is to um, automatically generate a plane. And you, you read about this all the time. If you start reading about hand scraping, and in particular, a good book is uh, Foundations of M Mechanical Accuracy. I think it's the more special tool company. Anyway, it, it that's a really good book. Uh, although it gets into a lot of things that probably uh, your average person will never need to do. Uh, of course, Connolly's book on uh, machine tool rebuilding is, is probably the gold standard for what you, you know, if you want to try to do hand scraping, that's a, that's a book you're, you're going to need to have. Although there, neither of those books are very cheap, about a hundred dollars a piece. Anyway, getting off on a tangent there. So anyway, I want to, um, use the three plate method to generate um, the face of these. And it's often discussed, but it's never done. So that was what I thought I would do here. And this will be a useful tool and I should be able to use it. Yeah, this will fit right on there to produce the flat surfaces on these. Although uh, for checking for square, I don't think there's enough room on it. All right, guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, you like seeing machines being resurrected, pulled out of the scrap yard, uh, why don't you consider subscribing and uh, maybe even support my Patreon channel. Uh, it'll certainly help pay for all the little supplies and stuff that I need. And it doesn't take much, you know, every little bit helps. See you guys around.